Welcome back to the channel and in today's two part tutorial series I'm going to be showing you how to make this ice cream and we're going to be making this sort of green lime syrup um, dripping over it. So we're going to be making this completely from scratch and the materials are all procedural. So this is going to be part one where we actually make the ice cream and the materials for the ice cream. Then in part two we'll make this syrupy um, oozing simulation here that runs on our ice cream. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, um, keep watching and I will be uploading the final um, file to my Patreon as well. So let's jump into part one and make this ice cream. Okay, so with a new scene open, let's select all of the default objects and press delete. And let's go ahead and go shift A under our mesh options. So we're gonna go ahead and add in a cylinder. Let's tab into edit mode. In our front view, we'll enable our X-ray toggle up here. We'll just select the bottom verts and we'll go S just to scale them slightly. Then let's grab these top ones and go G, Z and just move them up. So we have this sort of shape. I'm gonna then just press A to select everything, go G, Z and just move it up. Still sitting kind of on the floor. And then we're gonna come over in here, Control R, and you should see a yellow line appear. Once you see that, just roll your middle mouse button to roll in some segments and keep rolling till you get these rough little squares like this and then just double click to add them in. And let's go ahead and turn off our X-ray toggle. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna press A to select everything and we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and right click to let go. And let's go P and let's separate that selection. And now if we go into object mode, you can see here in our scene outliner, we have two objects. So we have a cylinder and cylinder.001. We're gonna click on a dot .001. We're gonna tab into edit mode and in wireframe, let's just select the middle verts here in wireframe. Let's go back into solid and we're just going to go F3 on our keyboard and we're going to type in poke and we're going to click on poke faces and we're going to get this result over here. And then we're going to press Alt J just to get rid of the triangles and now we have this crisscross kind of swirl pattern. So now let's go over and in fact, let's just select the top verts here and just delete them and the bottom verts here and just press delete. So now we have this and we're going to go over to our modifiers, add modifier click on search and type in wire. And let's click on wireframe, tab out, and now we have this. So let's go over here and just give it some thickness in object mode and go something like that. Looking pretty cool. Okay, now let's select our ice cream cone here, tab into edit mode, and let's just continue editing. I'm gonna go to my face select, select the bottom face. I'm gonna go control B to create a bevel and I'm gonna roll the middle mouse button a few times to add in some segments like so. And then I'm gonna select this top face and in the front view, I'm gonna go E to extrude up like so. And then E to extrude up this much. And I'm gonna go Shift Alt and left click to loop select these faces. And I'm gonna go E to extrude, right click, and I'm gonna go S Shift Z. So S Shift Z, I'm just gonna scale that out like so. Then I'm gonna select this top face again and in the front view, I'm just gonna go E to extrude it up to about here. I'm gonna left click and go S to scale it up like so. And I'm just gonna go X and I'm gonna delete that face. Then I'm gonna come in here, Control R, and you're gonna see the um, yellow line, double click to add it in. S to scale that way up, and then maybe move it down a bit. And then go Control B to create a bevel, and you can roll your middle mouse button to add in some more segments like so. And there we have it. You can also go to your Edge Select option, holding in Shift and Alt, you can left click to the loop, to select these two edges. Control B to create a bevel, like so. And you could always do the same to this one over here, completely up to you. But just creating kind of like this sort of ice cream shape. And I'm gonna also just go Shift Alt, left click and select the top edge here and go E to extrude and Z to extrude it up. And for me at the moment, this cone is a little bit wide. So I'm just gonna go enable proportional editing. With this top edge active, I'm gonna go Control Plus just to grow the selection. And then I'll go S shift Z and I'll just kind of scale it in a little bit like this. Um, but that's just my personal preference. I'm gonna tab back out and I'm gonna to go to my modifiers and give this a sub and give it a subdivision surface. There we go, so it's smoothed it out. And what we'll do now is just quickly tab back in, turn off proportional editing and then shift alt left click to select this top edge, go E to extrude and S to extrude it in a little bit, E to extrude and S again and then E to extrude and extrude down on the Z and then just press F to fill that. We're not gonna see the inside anyway, so we're not too worried about it. We just want something like this and we're gonna go to our modifier, we're gonna bump it up to three 
I'm gonna come to the drop down and apply it. And then let's grab this guy over here and just apply that wireframe as well. And then let's go ahead and grab this wireframe, holding and shift select the cone and go control J to join it. Then go to your add modifier, search and type in remesh. There we go. And then come here to the voxel size and make it 0 0.01. And now we have this all fused together and you can also come to the drop down and apply that. There we go. Now let's right click and go shade smooth. And now we have our ice cream cone. Okay, so now let's make the ice cream. So we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna to go to our mesh options, add in a UV sphere. We're gonna go G, Z and move it up over here. And let's scale it up a little bit like so. And then we're gonna tab into edit mode and I'll enable the wireframe or the, the X-ray up here. I'm just gonna select these bottom faces and I'm gonna go S, Z and just flatten them a little bit like so. And then I'm just gonna select these faces right here, as you can see. And we're gonna go E to extrude, right click and go S shift Z and scale them out along the Z like so, as you can see. And then come in here, control R and roll in two segments, double click. Then let's press A to select everything and go to our smooth tool and then click on a little gizmo and just smooth it out. And now you can see this is what we have. Very simple, I'm gonna turn off the X-ray again and I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna go subdivide. And with the smooth tool here, I'll smooth, subdiv smooth it a little bit more. Okay, but it's looking a little bit too smooth in places. So we'll select all of these bottom faces, these verts. We're gonna to go to our object data properties. We'll come here to the vertex group and go plus and we'll assign those verts. So now if we tab back out, we can go to our modifiers, add modifier, search, and let's give this a sub and give it a subdivision surface. Then let's go add modifier, search and type in this and get a displace. Let's click new on the texture. Let's come to the texture coordinate, uh, texture properties and let's come to the type here and make it cloud. And then going back to our modifiers, we can come over here to the vertex group and just click select and just select that group we created earlier. And then let's take our strength down like so. So I'm gonna go something like that. I'm gonna right click and go shade smooth. And there we have it. Now, if you bump up the viewport of the subdivision surface, you can see we have more detail coming through as you can see there. Um, for now, I'll just keep it lower in the viewport, but I'll bump it up for the render. Okay, so I might also just grab this ice cream. This is just optional and I might just flatten the top a little bit more, bringing it down. Um, but you guys can shape it however you want. But this is our ice cream. Okay, so let's go ahead now. And I think what we'll do is just select all of it and kind of go G, Z, move it down. We're gonna go R just to rotate it. There we go. And then in our front view, we're gonna go Shift A and we're gonna add in a camera. And let's go G, Y and move the camera back like so. And we're gonna go into a camera view and you can position the camera however you want, but I'm gonna go with something like this and maybe I'll rotate the camera just to look in a little bit, but this is, like I said, completely up to you how you want to do this, okay? And I might just rotate the ice cream even more. There we go, cool. And once we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our render properties. I'm gonna change the render engine to cycles. If you have a um, GPU, I recommend you make the device GPU. And then under your render max samples here, let's make it 50. There we go. So now we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go to our light options, add in an aerial height, and we're gonna go G to move it up. We have our pivot transform up here. Let's just make sure that's set to 3D cursor. And now we can double tap R and rotate our light around the cursor. And under the light properties, I'm gonna make it 300 on the strength, and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. Then I'm gonna go shift D to duplicate and rotate it and just create more lights. So you can go Shift D to duplicate, rotate, and let's go Z and go rendered. And you can see here, I should probably bump the strength up. So I'm gonna just maybe bump this one up to 700. There we go. And these back ones, I'll bump them up to 1,200. So we get some really nice rim lighting. There we go. And I might duplicate one of these and just have it kind of coming from the bottom. We're looking for this nice rim lighting over here, as you can see. There we go. That's looking really good. And then what we can do is 
we can select our cone over here. We can go to our materials properties and go new. Let's come to the base color for now and just give it sort of like a ice cream cone kind of color. And then let's select the ice cream and go new and let's just call this cream. And let's come here to the base color and for now just kind of make it like a creamy kind of color. Okay, but now we have a placeholder materials and we'll select the cone and just call that material cone as well. Make sure to save and now let's go into our shading workspace. In our rendered view over here, we're gonna select the ice cream first. And let's come over here and let's go shift a search and get a wave. We're gonna get a wave texture. Let's plug the color into the base color here. And then let's come here to the distortion and increase that a little bit. There we go. Let's increase the detail as well. And the scale will take down to three or maybe even one, let's have a look. Okay, one looks good here. And then we're gonna go shift A, search and get a color ramp. Place it on this cable. And then let's drag this value up here and let's come and make it lighter. Let's make it kind of like a nice lime kind of green. And this one we'll kind of drag down and we'll make that sort of like a creamish color. We don't want it to be completely white. And then let's come over here and bring down the roughness. There we go but not all the way, maybe something like this. And then let's come here to the subsurface and make it a value of 0.4 on the weight. Then we're gonna go shift A, search and get a noise texture. So type in noise and get a noise texture. Plug the color into the normal up here. Shift A, search and get a color ramp again. Place it on this cable. And then to make this work, we need to go shift A, search and get a bump. Get a bump node and place it on here, but make sure the color here from the ramp is going into the height input. Then we can come here to the detail and make it 12. And then over here under the strength, we'll make it 0.1. So now we've got some nice texture to our ice cream here. Okay, we're just gonna grab all of these nodes over here, right click and go copy. Then let's click on our cone over here. Select these two nodes and press delete. Then right click and go paste. And then what we're gonna do this time is just take this noise texture and go shift D to duplicate it. Take the color and plug it into the factor here and then delete this, um, just delete this wave texture. We just want the noise going into here. And then we'll take this lime color here and let's make it kind of like a orangey kind of cream. And then bring this cream down and make that a little bit darker in value and kind of bring it into this sort of range as well. Then let's just come here to the roughness and drag that up quite a bit. So it's a bit more matte. And now you can see we have a very nice looking kind of cone material here for our ice cream. So make sure to save. And what we're gonna do in the next part is we'll do our syrupy goo simulation that runs over our ice cream here. And that's gonna make it look like a really cool kind of commercial um, animation. So once again, also I will be uploading the finished blend files to my Patreon. You can check that out in the description. That's also a good way you can support the channel.